eyes of America are on this election. Jock Yablonski had been on the International Executive Board for many years, and been a leader in our union for many years. Jock was a, was a miners guy. Uh, he understood miners, he lived with miners, he worked with miners, and, and he was always for miners. Jock decided to challenge Tony Boyle for the presidency of the union. That was something almost unheard of. Why is it time for a change in the administration of the UMW right now? Because the present administration is totally corrupt and to totally concerned with maintaining themselves in office. Jock was well respected. He had negotiated many contracts. He was a great speaker. The overall consensus at that election was it's time for a change. We need to do things different. Um, and, and Jock represented that change to a lot of people. Jock came to our bathhouse and talk to us. That was when the men that weren't Tony Boyle people really started siding in with Jock and saying the things that Jock was telling us that was going on in the United Mine Workers. I won't kid this hunky I've been in this ball game too long. I see them steal too many elections. They're not gonna get away with that with me. Jock gave us hope because he had a lot of courage but he lost in the election to Tony Boyle in 1969. And at the end of 1969, uh, Jock and his wife and daughter were murdered. President Boyle was arrested and others were arrested and charged with the murder of Jock and his wife and daughter. And eventually, President Boyle went to jail. After what happened to Jock and his family, that's, that's when we started the move for the Miners for Democracy. <laughs>